Dear Diary, Today is the 28th day in quarantine. I am still here wondering how we had ended up in this mess in the first place, and how certain events can impact absolutely every living creature on Mother Earth. I had locked myself in and decided to obey the government, as well as to follow the given rules. Even if it resulted in a reality where one was to accustom oneself to doing something totally unfamiliar. But as they say, the master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. The very first step in the right direction was to accept the given circumstances. After that, things turned out to be better than imagined. Not only did I start to feel the energy of my inner body, but I came to the realization that Krishna Yolahala meditation, besides helping to cultivate new, positive ways of being, does indeed improve my yoga execution tremendously. The days wore on and I was delighted to find that I developed new nutritional habits. Bon voyage, muffin tops. It was fun. I played every day, I sang like Sheeran, I danced like Michael used to, and I felt more alive than ever before. But then, something changed. The days became longer, my energy escaped me. My creative thoughts stalled and it became more and more difficult to successfully entertain myself. It all seemed so perfect at the beginning. I felt free. I felt unstoppable. But reality hit me. The cookie had started to crumble. I started missing my ex-wife and wanted to see my beautiful baby boy. Going through past memories, I realized how much I missed my family, my friends, and witnessing the infinite beauty of life itself. I increasingly felt like a prisoner, stuck in confinement, unable to spread my wings, but willing to reach my full potential and unlock the door to personal excellence. I wanted to finally break out. My childlike curiosity had never left me. My dreams were still unbearably intense and I yearned to go back outside where I belong. Where I can truly control my own destiny. I couldn't help but ponder the effect of these past few weeks on my being. What will I be like when all of this chaos has finally reached its end? Shouldn't I, if I really want to shape my own path, start by doing it now? Wasn't it Alexis Carroll who said, Man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he is both the marble and the sculptor. I am the sculptor. I am the shaper of my own path. There are so many things that I could change just now. I could finally become a vegan. I could help the community more. No, I could ensure my contribution to the betterment of all. I could totally reinvent myself.